What's going on YouTube? It's your boy FB Aftermath. Hey, check this out. Today we are here with another 28820 code. Pretty much what's behind the whole um, vision of 28820 is just the numbers, right? I just used it as code 28820 just for um, mental, no, just for direction. And today is another workout. So I started out with the Smith Machine Incline, 20 reps, three sets, 20 reps, three sets to start out the workout. Um, this was pretty hard. You see me with not much weight on the bar, you know, even on the Smith Machine. So a lot less than what you see, well not a lot, but it was still pretty difficult. Um, so I even had to go down. I took off the tens that was on there, as you saw, and went back down to just 135 or whatever amount uh, that is, comes out to be on a Smith machine. But um, starting out was, like I said, pretty tough. This was all about volume. One thing about this, these workouts is this is not super strength based. This is something to set you back with your ego. Um, Sometimes, you know, you don't have a lot of weight on the bar and you feel like you're not getting a lot of work done. But trust me, I was getting a lot of work done. This this workout really wore me out. So that was three sets for 20 reps on the Smith Machine Incline. Then I went dumbbells, slightly heavy, 85 pounds, for four sets of eight. And you're just going back and forth from high volume strength, high volume strength volume volume strength strength you know you're using certain exercises to pretty much get those those certain numbers and you know you can still build, build strength in the eight number range um, some days I could be going heavier than others let's say next workout you know instead of 85s I use hundreds you know it just all depends on how the workout is put out and set um, but there will be a full workout um, for purchase coming out that I've made for everybody. Once again, this is not something to base yourself on massive strength gains. This is not um, something that focuses on strength gains. This is a, a maintenance, uh, slight strength gains, but more to sculpt and build my body. Um, so as you see now, I'm doing flies, and I'm guess what? You know, 20 reps. Flies are really good for high repetition, high volume. I only did it for three sets. I felt my chest getting super tight already and sometimes you know people feel like oh it's tight chest blah blah, blah. you know keep going like no when you're there's a, an uncomfortable feeling sometimes uh, coming to flies and when you feel tightness in some strange areas it's best off to just back away from it those things you have to take care of um, a lot of people really tear their chest you know I've never had any weightlifting injuries ever and that's because I listen to my mind. Um, so right now, I got flat bench dumbbell presses, right? Flat bench dumbbell presses, 20 reps, three sets. Uh, majority of everything is about three to four sets. Um, depending on what the movement is, I'll, I'll go up to four sets. Let's say I can go four sets of eight reps. Uh, I think I did on the dumbbells with 85s. Uh, I don't know if it was three or four, but I feel like it was four sets uh, that day. Um, so right now it's just all about pumping it out, uh, volume, went to strength, went to volume, and volume again. We're really putting in work. And something to add on, I'm only doing this like three to four times a week. I'm not working out every day. And then to finish all that out with the chest, I did 100 push-ups. Not straight, just in as less sets as possible. So first set was 50, went at it again, I believe I got 25, and I went at it again to finish off with 25 reps. Don't forget to stay hydrated. Make sure you get some of that G Fuel Hydrate along with that water to add that good taste, you know what I'm saying? Get those electrolytes up in that bad boy. You already know what it is. Just stay hydrated because that is the key to muscle growth. Unsaturated with water and muscle, no growth, all right? Especially if you're taking a lot of products, creatine, um, such, it's, you have to have water for those products to work if you're taking anything regardless. So moving on, this was a push-pull full upper body day. Um, went to lateral raises, always like training shoulders, um, high reps. So once again, three sets, 20 reps, uh, lateral raises, 
Um, same thing with front raises, three sets, 20 reps, front raises. I think I went back and forth um, with my rep strategy here for shoulders, really focusing on keeping that pump throughout the full uh, movement. I didn't go all the way up. I just stopped as soon as I get that peak contraction on that shoulder. That's when uh, that's when I stopped and went back down. So this is this is something else to add in. I added deadlifts as well. Usually I don't do like big comp like like multiple compound movements in a day. But now I'm back to that. So we got deadlifts and we only got eight reps. I didn't go crazy heavy. I'm totally honest, didn't go crazy heavy. I think I went to what. 315 max a day and that's how tired I already was from what I've already done so I might have to map out another way um, to be more focused on having sustainable energy when I get to my deadlift um, so I can really pull out some more weight so next up is a 28 28 uh, barbell row so that first set was 20 I go heavier, 225 for eight reps, and I switch the uh, grip to reverse grip just to get a different feel in the back. And right after this, took it down, went back to 20 reps, pump it up again, and finished off with eight reps. So you're just going back and forth, back and forth. Oh, excuse me, my bad. I did 28, eight, and then finished it off with 20 reps. So. Um, once again, strength and volume. The pump on this workout was crazy. The intensity on this workout was crazy. Uh, there's really not a lot of times that I sweat. And this full workout, I was just, I felt gassed. I felt super gassed. And uh, that's what I'm going for, to be honest. So now we are with the uh, dumbbell rows for eight reps each arm uh, for three sets. And once again, I mean, you, you guys are getting the the rhythm of this workout. And once again, it's just to keep you moving. Short rest times, honestly. Only time I needed like big rest time was when I was doing some deadlifts, only with 315, which wasn't crazy. But once again, to end the workout, um, high reps, three sets, 20 reps of lap pull downs. And this has like I'm doing this voiceover like two days later and my back and my upper body is still sore and the day after I did legs which the video will come out soon and yo like I'm, I'm loving this strategy right now and I use Wednesdays as my conditioning days and functional movement minimal weight so I'm liking how this is it's kind of back to like some football style stuff um, a little bit bodybuilder aspect to it and uh, I just get to focus on everything in one week and that's been my main goal and I hope that's going to be your main goal also so you don't fall behind and um, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed make sure you like and subscribe and catch you guys on the next video